Yes, today I bought these inner pants from North Face, so I would like to introduce them to you. If you can use them, I think they will be a really reliable piece of clothing in the winter. I haven't worn them yet, so I'm going to wear them now, but these are pants with an inner lining. If you look at them now, I think they are a bit loose, so I'm going to wear them now. Yes, so I wore them. The color of the upper part is a little hard to see, so let's take it off. I thought they were wider, but they weren't that wide. However, since they have an inner lining, I feel like they are warmer than regular pants. I will. So, what about the stretch? Well, it's not that it doesn't work, but it may not be a pants with a lot of stretch. Well, this alone doesn't give you an idea of what they are like. So I'd like to look at them later and see how they go with down jackets. But first of all, these pants are warm, don't get clumpy, and are light. First, it uses a distinctive material. The second is that it uses a strong fabric, but it's not just strong, it's also breathable. The last one is, if you look at the selection display, you can see that it is basically recommended to wash it by hand, but since no natural ingredients are used, what I'm trying to say is that it can be washed in the washing machine. Well, this is at my own discretion, so you can do it at your own discretion, but the pants in this one that I introduced last year, er, red run pants? I've been using these at home for a long time, so I think that there's no problem with the material. First, it's a little bit of a contradiction, being warm and not easily swarmed. What does that mean? Well, inside this, there's a sheet like this. So, so, if you take a quick look at a close-up of this sheet, it looks like this, and there are slits, in the gaps. So, what do I mean by slits? When you do this, there's nothing, but when you bend your knees, for example, they stretch. And when you do that, the holes widen and the heat escapes. So when you're exercising, your legs move like this, don't they? The structure is designed to let the swarm escape at times like that. And yet, when I say inside, many people think of outerwear, so I put in something relatively like this, which is about 5 ounces. This is about 6 ounces, but there is a difference in thickness, but this is the opposite, about 3 ounces. The thickness is completely different. So, I put in something relatively heavy ounces for my jacket, but I don't put that much in my pants. The reason is that pants are made of a lot of muscle to begin with. It's said that about 70% of the body is made of muscle, so the weight rises quickly and it gets hot. So I don't put in something that's too thick. So if you ask me if they're rough and bumpy like the kind you'd use as an outerwear, I'd say they're not. So they're relatively normal pants with a little bit of cotton in them, but they keep you warm and sound, and they don't get in a tight group. And the last one, this red run, I really recommend last year. When I tried them on, they were either on the slim side. I think most people wear these inner pants in winter, so I think the top is down like this. In that case, you either want to go for a Kanshiro style with a bulging top and a sleek bottom, or you want to go for a Dragon Ball Brawly style with a bulging top and a slightly looser bottom like today's Ben Trick Active Pants, but in terms of ease of movement, these red run pants are easier to move in because they have knit in key areas, so they're stretchy. And they're made with stretch in mind, so they're easier to move in. They're easier to move in. You'd think it would be hard to move around in these pants because they're so thin, but surprisingly, they're easier to move around in. As for the reinforced pants, they're all internal so they don't stretch, so in terms of ease of movement, it might be easier to move around in them if you go up one size. If you get a size like this, it's a bit tight. I always have trouble finding pants, but some I wear in M and some I wear in L, so I think it's fine to go up one size. They do get thicker, but that's to be expected, and considering the volume of the down, if you want to look slimmer, I think red run pants are the way to go. People who wear these pants don't really care if they want to look slimmer, so if you're talking about comfort, I think it would be more comfortable to go up one size, so I personally recommend going up one size. If you look at the description, it says Pertex Quantum Air. What is Quantum Air? Well, it's a brand called Pertex, which is known for its nylon that can't be torn even by parachutes, and it's the Italian brand Pertex, which is known for its nylon that can't be torn even by parachutes, and it's one of the best in terms of durability. It's durable, but it's breathable, and that's what this quantum wear article is about. And that's what they're using. That's why Nakahata said that there were some holes in the fabric in the first place. So, it's easier to move around in it, and it allows the heat to escape, but it's pointless if it stops at the outer layer. So they put something like a canum style in the outer layer so that the heat can escape, so it doesn't get stuck. That's right, it's been thought out that far, and if you just look at this explanation, People who don't understand Bentocus and Quantum Air at all are saying that, but oh, I see, that's what it means. So, compared to normal, it's a little more breathable, so it doesn't get stuck. That's perfect, but it's better to take one size up. As for the selection, hand washing is basically recommended, so if you want to go as written, hand washing is recommended. No, for those who trust you, you can put it in the washing machine, but I personally think you should be a little careful about putting it in the dryer. 
If you're wearing something fancy, there's no problem, but if you put it in the dryer, there's a possibility that it will tear somewhere. If you use normal nylon, they say you should just take it to the dryer, but if you think about it, there are small holes in it, so if it's something that's breathable, if it's a high-density nylon 100 that's tightly packed together, there's no gaps, so there's no need to worry about it tearing. But if there are gaps, there's a theoretical concern that it may tear. So if you want to go in a normal, orthodox way, you should hand wash it. But if you want to go in the washing machine, I think I'll try it out once to see how it goes. I would do it to see how long it can last. But if you're a fan, I think it's better to have it washed in a fancy wash. However, since it's inside, it dries a little slower. It's a little slower than regular pants. Well, a way to solve that is to go up one size and wear an inner layer. For example, you can wear a patch, or maybe a peach-lined sweatshirt. I think people of our generation wear peach-lined sweatshirts, and by wearing them, you don't have to wash them every time, so it saves you that trouble. So I think going up one size is becoming more of a must, but there are disadvantages. Before that, let's look at outerwear. Well, everyone has this mountain light, right? Well, if you don't have Nupsi and mountain light and you watch my videos, it's against the dress code, so you have to have these two items before you can subscribe to that channel. So if you don't have these two items, please unsubscribe first. Well, in order to subscribe to my channel after unsubscribing, you must have bought Nupsi and Mountain Knight at least once. Oh, I've bought them. Oh, please subscribe and thank you. I haven't bought it yet. I was told not to register for now. So this is the style for such occasions. Well, there's no problem at all. It's made to match outerwear, so it looks like this. However, there is a disadvantage to these pants. This type of pants is very selective. The reason is that some of them have elastic hems. Well, if you look at the official website this time, you'll see that black is still better, but it's a bit like light gray, and this is already loungewear. No matter how you look at it, it's loungewear. So, if it's just two men, they'll laugh and say, hee hee, you're loungewear, but wives will definitely hate this kind of thing. So, when I think about women, or, well, girlfriends, I think it's a bit strange to choose gray for this, and even if it's black, it's difficult to wear unless you have a certain amount of long legs. I think that's why I personally don't think that pants with narrow hems like this are pants that everyone can wear. The disadvantage of these pants is that the colors other than black are a bit sticky, so I don't think there are any particular disadvantages in terms of performance. I really think that the performance is completely good, so I don't think there are any particular disadvantages. As for who I would recommend them to, I would recommend them quite a bit, and if I had to mention something, they weren't in the red run. However, I really like these red runs. I said I recommend them, but the thing is that because of the stitching, it feels like you're wearing down or something inside, so you can't wear them in early spring. So, spring is a very sub-February, but it's already early spring, so I'm in the spring car. It's exactly like this school. Well, the wind is cold in spring, so I think I can wear mountain park or gore on top, or not on the bottom. If I wear alpine on the bottom, it's really cold, and this comes into play when it becomes really cold. So surprisingly, at first glance, they look like normal nylon buzzers, so they wear out for a really long period of time. So until now, I've only been able to wear Nikado pants in winter. I can only do it in December and January. These pants have greatly expanded the range of what I was used to. The reason they expanded it is because they are breathable and there are no stitches, so there is no discomfort. They look like normal e-zip pants. I see. That certainly makes it attractive, doesn't it? So it's totally fine to wear a mountain parka like this in early spring. And even when it gets really windy, it looks cold but it's not cold at all. So I bought some down pants from somewhere and they're definitely not cold. They're not cold. It's not cold in winter, but if you ask me if the gusset will come out, the answer is yes. It doesn't come out. Yes, you end up not wearing them. That's why down pants exist. When you win and throw up, it's warm. You think you can get through this, but when you try them on, you feel a bit of an aft door, and then you don't. So you just keep falling asleep, and that's why I don't wear down pants myself. So I basically don't make them. Me too. When I think about it, this kind of nakahata is really easy to use, and well, I didn't introduce it as a disadvantage this time, but when it comes to water or rain, it's not a problem because it's inside, but, well, it will get wet. It's not waterproof at all, so if it gets wet, it will get wet, but even if it gets wet, you can just wash it, so that's the problem with down. It can't be washed and you have to take it to the cleaners, and although it has the same hand washing instructions, it's a completely different way of handling it, so in the case of down, you have to revive it, and it's a bit difficult to revive after getting wet, but in the case of inner, it revives on its own even if you don't revive it, it revives when it dries, so if you need it, it goes flat like this, but when it dries, it will fluff up and go back to normal, which is the good thing about mid-length, so, well, as a point of caution, choose one size larger, and, well, be careful with the color, I think that's what I'll be careful about this time, and finally, everyone has shifted to autumn and winter clothes, haven't they? I had the image of summer clothes, so I imagined a pretty tight silhouette, but the pants are fine for summer, but when it comes to winter, the top gets bigger, so I think it would be better to go up a size, 
but there is quite a bit of room in the waist. They are loose, so you have to tighten them with the strings, but I would like you to take a look at them in stores, or go to a select shop or a sports line and take a look at them. That's what I would like to introduce as noses, ventric active pants in this video. See you again another time. Thank you. Ah.